Discoverer 13 was launched on August 10, 1960 from Vandenberg Air Force Base's Pad 75-3-4. It was the 13th attempt by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency to launch a test film return capsule to orbit and recover it safely. Most of those attempts did not even make it to orbit safely, with only five making it to orbit, and those orbits often being too high for recovery. On attempt 13, however, the Corona program which launched the Discoverer spacecraft would see its first success. Discoverer 13 was launched on a Thor DM-18 rocket with an Agena A second stage. It carried no functional camera system, just the return capsule system. The probe orbited for a day at an orbit of 705 kilometers by 250 kilometers with an inclination of 82.9 degrees. Then a signal from the ground station at Kodiak Island had it separate from the Agena and retroburn. The retro rocket delivered 400 meters per second delta V, leading to a steep re-entry profile which brought the capsule down north of Honolulu. Helicopters then retrieved the capsule which had splashed down in the ocean. Because Karabal Sputnik 1 had failed to deorbit as planned, and the launch of Karabal Sputnik 2 was 9 days away, Discoverer 13 managed to become the first man-made object recovered from orbit. Of course, it was in no way on the same scale as the Soviet attempts, which were of a full spacecraft meant to carry a human. Eight days after the launch of Discoverer 13, Discoverer 14 was launched with a camera. Everything worked as planned, and that capsule too was recovered. This achievement was a remarkable testament to persistence given the horrendous track record of the early Corona program, but also a bittersweet milestone to score, with the Soviet Union demonstrating a far greater capability soon after. And on that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Discoverer 13.